never give up on it. Bring it on, bring it on. Are you ready? Are you ready? No matter how you try, don't you ever fall. Keep your head up high and standing tall. Welcome back. So this is the home stretch. Imagine this. Your mother or your parents send you to school. You spend like five years studying um, mechanical engineering, engineering, specifically mechanical <laughs> engineering, and you decide you want to go and mechanize people's lives and, and just make them laugh. I don't understand. Anyway, his name is Orevo Gene Aquidolo, also known as Forever from Delta State. Yes, they added something else there about his tribe. I'll leave that one out. He'll tell us that one. He's. Um, He's called, he's a mechanical engineer, public speaker, actor, stand-up comedian based in Lagos. Aside from his commercial, uh, let me see that. Aside from this commercial side of him, someone says, you cannot, you've not had a good laugh to your fill if you have not yet sat and talked with forever. Because indeed, his comedy keeps you laughing. He is a host of forever. Um, say, hold on, Alera, you're laughing already. You've not even seen him. He is the host of Forever with Forever, and he's always using this, this slogan, we're making progress. Forever funny with forever. Forever funny with forever. Okay. What is all this engineer, forever everywhere? No, engineer Quiddle, or is it comedian <laughs> forever? Which one do you prefer? Uh, I prefer comedian forever because the engineer is in my wardrobe. The certificate is there. That's for mommy and daddy, right? It's for Delta State people because the only way to escape poverty was to was to work in an oil company. So it was not mechanical engineering, no. It was a mother that fit my jam form. I was inside the oil, petroleum engineering. I didn't get the admission. So she now asked, what can lead him to oil? They say mechanical. Put him there. <laughs> that was how I got there. So I'm forever. My mother is an engineer. Okay. Your mother is the engineer. Yeah, Adasha. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Is uh. she watching today? Um, I hope she is because she's uh, she's very busy. She, at her age, she's still, she still wants to hammer, so she doesn't want to rest. So it's possible that she's making money somewhere. So she will, she will, she will hear the story. <laughs> okay. So studied engineering. You came out and you performed on some of the biggest platforms in the comedy industry from Alibaba's January 1 concert, Stand Up Nigeria, I laugh with MCRB, and this is just a few of them you've you've worked on. So, yeah. what was it like from Delta? You schooled in Enugu, right? Yes, I schooled in Enugu. So, you, from Delta, you went to Enugu to school. Then, from Enugu, Came you uprooted yourself to Lagos, and in Lagos, you're now forever. Forever. Yes. Everywhere. <laughs> what has it been like? Um, beautiful. I the only the only part of me I don't like is that. I've not had something about the north. So at least I'm from the south, school in the east, I live in the west. I was hoping that I could have done my youth service in the north so that I can tell you I'm a complete Nigeria. So I've toured around Nigeria, but it's been beautiful. Um, so where did you do your youth service? Anambra State. I don't know what happened. Well, you went back to the east. Okay. All right. No, so where no, but you, you can go and do comedy in the north. No, that one is normal. I go and come back, but it's not like I stay. Oh, okay. So you I don't want is, to go and come. You want to stay. Uh, if I'd had a time where I, I, I can say I stayed in the north of a particular You time. can still stay now. Uh, it's late. How is it late? I mean, what's what if, makes it late? What if uh, the, someone from north says, my... forever, come over. All we right. have... We are ready for you. We, you will hammer. No, that's what they, that's what people tell you now. We are solidly behind you. When you turn back, you are only seeing your shadow. So, are you married? Yeah, I'm married though, with one daughter. Oh, okay. I would have said you, you may marry that's a girl from the north, uh, and you'll be going home to visit. Why and not? Spending some why time. Not? But it has already happened. Yeah, it's a pity. Oh, you want a second one? No. Why would I? I already have the second one. There's my first daughter is a girl. That's your daughter, not yeah, your second that's... wife. No, so he's part of the family. So I have two women already. Two are enough. Yeah, are you two. Sure that in two fact, are one enough? wife is enough for the wise. So let's leave it at that. If you marry a second, you're in trouble. You're causing problem for yourself. In that fact, is my own opinion. No. In fact, one of my uncles said that he was looking for half a woman to marry. That one woman was too much for him. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he choose stand-up comedy? I didn't choose stand-up comedy. I cannot say I choose stand-up comedy. You know, there are things that are resident inside of you that you are not even aware of. I just knew that in 2005, I woke up one morning and saw people laughing. 
I saw what they were laughing at. They were watching Night of a Thousand Laugh. Agudai was performing. So after he was performing, as I watched him, it just dawned on me that I could do this thing. So I didn't take it serious. So I went to school, and in school, that was when I started doing comedy. So and I found out that the money I was getting from comedy, I stopped collecting money from my parents. I started paying my own fees. When I was done with school as an engineer, I said, let me look for a job. They now told me that uh, where I, will, I will work in one place that they will pay me 2,000 naira for one month. 2,000 no. naira? No, 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 come on. No. 30 days. 2,000 naira. No. So I asked myself, even if I decide to trek from my house to that, if I buy started water daily, it I will drink 2,000 in two weeks. So I now remember that as a student, comedy was being fit. And I said, okay, if I invest more of my energy in this thing, it can give me a life. So that was how I made up my mind to become a comedian. So suppose you had got a job at an oil company at that time when you got this 2,000 naira a month offer. The story would have been different? Uh, but thank God it didn't happen. <laughs> no, would the story have been different? Uh, I can't really say. Because you know life now, there's a way passion drags you back and I don't know. I can't really say but my joy is that thank God it didn't happen because I'm here today. I'm happy. The kind of life I live, the kind of you are a happy comedian. I'm a happy comedian. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I like that you're a happy comedian. Yeah, happy comedian. So your bank account is done. It's not about the bank account to be, but I need more. <laughs> you know, there's well, a difference between a lot and a lamb. There's something you said now. You said the kind of people you you've met. Yes. What What do you mean by that? Okay, comedy gives you access. Um, entertainment generally gives you access. People. Who you, who you never dreamt of meeting. You tell jokes and they laugh and they instantly become your friends. So on a normal day, a little way from Mugeli Delta State would not hope to make governors, presidents laugh, leaders of industries. If I was working in one oil company, I possibly I won't be here. I will be on top of uh, one ship somewhere looking for oil to drill. And <laughs> While you're looking I'll for be, that oil I'll be to relating drill. with mommy water people, like things like that, but now I'm uh, We'll have to go on a break. <laughs> we'll be back shortly. While you're looking for the oil. <laughs>